Hi, I'm Carl Tannenbaum, Chief Economist for Northern Trust. The world's central banks are often called upon to manage the temperature of the global economy. They tighten to prevent overheating and ease if conditions cool. But in recent years, central banks have been thinking about temperatures in an entirely different way. Global temperatures are warming. Debate continues on the origins and the potential persistence of this trend, but the consequences of climate change are already being felt. Weather extremes are arriving more frequently and doing more damage. The possibility that the Earth could warm further has important consequences for regions and industries. The social consequences of climate change are of primary concern, but the economic consequences are not to be overlooked, and that's where central banks get involved. The Bank of England began engaging several years ago, asking Britain's insurance companies to stress test themselves against extreme events to ensure that they can withstand the worst of the weather. As well, the president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas, whose region is often the target of extreme storms and temperatures, has encouraged the energy and agricultural industries, among others, to prepare themselves for a more volatile future. Lenders in that region and others around the world have been encouraged to take special care when financing coastal property. Longer term, the potential advance of climate change and the potential retreat of carbon-heavy industries could have an important impact on the value of a range of assets, including stocks, bonds, and real estate. Financial supervisors have encouraged portfolio managers to take stock of this possibility. There are those who argue that central banks have enough to worry about. After all, inflation is running below desired levels in most of the world, and monetary policy needs to focus on that. But the goal of long-term prosperity and stability is an unwritten mandate for central banks. Achieving that stability will require preparing for the potential of instability created by climate change. And that's The View from here.